Are you ready to try the world's most expensive biryani? In previous life, you know, <laughs> I was Indian. <laughs> Good afternoon everyone, this is David Hoffman from David's Bin here coming at you from beautiful Dubai, UAE. Today I'm so excited because I'm here with Swati Verma, an Indian makeup artist. Yes. Dude, you're awesome. Thank you. <laughs> so she started Swati Cosmetics with your husband. Yes. And it's all about empowerment, 100% vegan, and your products are in Sephora and many other big outlets, right? Yes, yes, that's true. And you love Indian food. I am a big fan of Indian food and we are here today at Bombay Boro to try some crazy Indian dishes. And there's one more special thing, right? Yes. So they have the most expensive biryani in the world. It's like wow. a gold, well gold foil biryani. Oh my god, I am so excited. But, 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 you okay. know, I'm a vegetarian. Yes, yes, I <laughs> yes. know, I know. So luckily for us, they're going to put the lamb on the side, the egg on the side. So you'll be able to eat the vegetarian aspect of it, right? Wow, that's amazing. I am literally dying to try out a, the most expensive vegetable biryani. <laughs> <laughs> and they also have like an array of Indian dishes from all across India, north, south, north, east, west. Wow, so if wow, you want, wow. we can even try a ghost pepper from Nagaland. Yes, yes. I, I love spicy food, you know, more than anything in Oh, the do world. you? Yeah. No, yes. I'm I so love, excited. I love it. This is going to so, be awesome. But I'm just uh, worried about my stomach. Let's see what happens now. <laughs> Pepto Bismol. <laughs> yeah. All right, so let's go inside Bombay Borough and let's go eat. Let's ready? do it. Let's, let's do go. It. Let's ready to go? Yes, super excited. You hungry? Yeah, very hungry. All right, let's go. By the way, I entered this restaurant like half an hour ago and it is amazing. Did it... you eat anything already? <laughs> oh, I ate this morning, but not okay. here yet. <laughs> and here's my friend Hamza. Hamza, how are you doing? Everything good? All good, thank you. This is Swati. Hello. Hi, nice to meet you. you. We're going to have something special today. It's going to be something unique here in Dubai and UAA as well. It's called the Gold Biryani. Please welcome. Are you ready to try the world's most expensive biryani? Very ready, yes, yeah, super ready. So they have an incredible bar over here. So if you're into drinks, they got it and they got King Fisher. I am uh, on an office break, you know. So. You are? You are. <laughs> I'm taking a break from drinking, so I'm good. I'm just okay. drinking water. In Dubai, especially because it's so dry, yeah. I need a lot of water. You need a lot of water yeah. for sure. Yeah. So we're going to have a ghost chili together? Maybe, maybe. Okay, I can give it a try. Yeah. <laughs> I've never tried it before in my life. Oh, no, no, no. It's scary. Maybe we don't try it. Maybe it's next time. Maybe. Love this terrace, by the way. Look at this. Beautiful. So, Swati, I have to ask you. You've been in Dubai, you said... It's been three years now. Three years? Yeah, that's okay, it. Okay, okay, that's it. So, I was here in 2006. Okay. That was the only structure. I can imagine. That was Dubai the only was, thing. You know, if you talk about the building, which is old, mm -hmm. it's like five years old, you know? I know, I know. It's crazy. <laughs> five years, six years old. It's amazing. Old. Like... I, I really, really like Dubai. Yeah. It's a standard. Especially when you compare to India. Yeah, yeah. No, I for sure. You know, the best thing about Dubai? No taxes. <laughs> yes, that's <laughs> Actually, that's true. But for the employers, it's kind of hard because uh, yeah, I'm sure. as an employer, you need to give visas to people. Yeah. You should my, move to Dubai. I don't know. I have two, I have two kids in Miami, so <laughs> it's going to be hard. Yeah. Well, I'm ready for the food. And this is incredible. I love this outdoor seating, right? So yeah, it's very really, nice. Really nice. Fresh I, I air. I love the white. And what area is this? I it's DIFC. DIFC. So what's DIFC? To be honest, I'm from Marina side. I, oh, I you're lived, from Marina. Yeah. So I lived in Palm two years, and it was beautiful there. It was always like waking up in Maldives, and then we moved to Marina because we wanted a little more happening during COVID time. It was, it was really just two of us, me and my husband, and we were sick of each other. <laughs> everything. He's gonna watch this video. He's gonna kill me. But we work together. We live together. 24 hours together. So you know, it, it's kind of hard. These are the mocktails. One is your magic melon, which is orange, musk melon, and coconut nectar. Then we have Uti Sunset, which is your pineapple with thyme. This is your pink city, which is goa with the blackberries. I'm gonna get the best one. <laughs> okay, all right. I'm gonna take this one. Thank you. Well, that was the best? Come Sorry. on. <laughs> what can I do? <laughs> You are still in the three most popular drinks, okay? And these are non-alcoholic. We're trying to keep it light. So if you want alcohol, they have that as well. They have a bar here. They have Kingfisher. They have non-stop alcohol. Beautiful. You know, I, I live in Dubai, but I've never been here because it's actually the other side of Dubai. But I am definitely coming back here. So this is closer to downtown. Right there, we have Emirate Towers. That's like one of the first structures ever built. And then they're both super tall, so I think. They're 300 meters high. Yeah, all the buildings are so, so gorgeous here. They are tall, they are stunning. Wow. Genuinely so good. Yeah? All right, so a mocktail, huh? Not yes. a cocktail, a mocktail. 
Cheers. Oh, don't worry. Mmm. <laughs> Amazing. Super refreshing. Mmm. Oh, nice and minty. This is almost like a lemonade. This seems like a coconut curry to me, to be mm -hmm. honest. But I love it. Yeah, it's, oh. it's really nice. No joke. Personally, I love everything coconut. I went to Kerala. Yep. Oh Kerala. My. Kerala. <laughs> Kerala. Kerala. How you pronounce it? Ker Kerala. Uh huh. That's uh, actually a very bitter vegetable. Oh, is it? Tell me that. <laughs> Have you been yeah. there, by the way? Yes, I've been there. Oh, yeah? And, you know, the funniest thing is when uh, my husband, when we were just dating and my, he was meeting my parents, and my parents were going to Kerala the next day. He was trying to impress them that he knows so much about India, and he was like, so you're going to Kerala tomorrow? And they were like, oh, no, we're not going to Kerala tomorrow. <laughs> that's like a dish, you know, nobody really likes so much because it's so bitter. Amazing. Look at this dish. <gasps> wow. Yeah. That's crazy. Seriously. That's a hell of a biryani. What are you doing there? Just placing gold foil. Wow. Alright guys, this is crazy. This is the most expensive biryani in the world. 1,000 dirhams. So like, like almost 300 US dollars for this massive platter. So basically what he's doing now is he's putting gold foil on all the meat. That's why it's so expensive. All edible gold foil. <laughs> yes. <laughs> crazy. It's crazy. And on the Definitely. side we have nihari, Pakistani, right? So it's more of a Pakistani dish. That is what? Uh, dahi? Right that's oh, that's right. Okay. Yeah, so that's yogurt basically. With pomegranate on top, yes. right? Yes. And then this one is? A little spicy, right? <laughs> it looks too spicy. No, it's never too spicy. <laughs> it's never too spicy. Especially for the Indians, you know, it's never too spicy. Wow. You're gonna oh. gain a lot of weight. And oh, I'm so used to it, my friend. <laughs> hey, it's just desi ghee, desi ghee, desi ghee. <laughs> That's amazing. It's not Indian food without the pure desi ghee. Exactly. That's uh, so true. Yeah, like in the States, we don't get the pure. Yeah. You know, it's not the same thing unless you bring it in, but it's still different. I'll tell you, I ate yesterday here in Dubai yeah. Indian food all day long. Yeah. Best Indian food of my life. Okay, but outside of India. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I had the, one of the best butter chickens ever and one of the best biryanis I've ever yeah. had over yeah. there in uh, Mina Bazaar. But this is something special. This is really special. I have never seen something like this before. All right, my friends, this is it. The most expensive biryani in the world. Oh my gosh, what do we have? I mean, this is crazy. Yeah, so many things. To be honest, I have no op oh, no idea about the meat part. Okay. Because I'm uh, a vegetarian. Yeah. You explain it to me. What so, is it? I think, so we have lamb chops here. Yeah. All covered with gold foil. We also have here seek kebabs, right? Yeah, that's a Kashmiri sheep kebab. Kashmiri. Okay, so this is chicken? This is chicken tikka kebab. So uh, you have the delicacies from whole All India? All of wow. India. Wow. <laughs> and so this is 1,000 dirham. So like almost 300 US dollars. I think it's like 270 right now. This looks incredible. What is vegetarian here? These three are veg and this is uh -huh, the lamb. Those three are vegetarian. Yeah. I love how you have variety of everything from vegan to uh, non vegetarian food. Wow. <laughs> so what's inside it? Let's open it. I think it's the rice here. Oh, it's like sticky rice. Wow. I'm gonna mix that noodles okay. into the curry, then take that. some rice, apply some curry, mix it and have it. The aroma of that coming out, the coconut. Wow. Everything coconut is for me. <laughs> How do I even start this thing? Can you finish the whole? That's the question. Right? Smash the shops first. I mean, I'm gonna destroy the shops. So, the gold is edible, right? Yes. Mm. My vegan meal. <laughs> mm. So tasty. Mm hmm. Mmm. I love the marinade. This and is this the best curry I had ever in Dubai. This one? Yes, honestly. No way. Yes. Oh, I'm best. gonna have to try it. Oh, whatever the marinade with, I'm sure it's like malai, right? They usually use malai. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to just dive in here with my hands, right? <laughs> Let's get in here, break up some of this. Wow. <laughs> mm hmm. Get some of these potatoes. Right. Mm -hmm. You are a true Indian. You were just born in the US. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. You know it's funny, people tell me that all the time. They're like, you are turning into Indian. I'm like, no, no. My previous life, you know, I was Indian. Mm. Three different rices, right? So that one has some pomegranate. This one's more with cashew nuts. And, and this three one. Three different, yeah. Three, three different ones. Yeah, yeah. And this one, I guess, has meat in it, right? Yes. That was a vegetarian. That was a vegetarian yeah, one? Yeah, but it's just, you know, the meat is kept on it, so I'm like a little sensitive. Mm -hmm. No, I get it. <laughs> mm. Amazing. Oh my god, so moist. 
nice and meaty. Like yeah. you feel it. Yeah, yeah. But this the one, juices. honestly, this is so, so That one's so good? good. Yeah. I mean, it looks incredible. And the presentation was so amazing. Yeah, right? Love it here, guys. Love it. So good. I'm actually going to try those things also. Mm hmm Is there a vegetarian? These three are veg. They're oh gravy. God. But this looks really spicy. That one? <laughs> Yeah, but this one, this is so good. One? Yeah, is it spicy? How is no, it no. I mean, it's spice level, I'd say right here, I'd say a five. I mean, there is some spice in here. On top of the potatoes especially, you see yeah. that, the chili, yeah. right? Yeah. Chili pepper. But this is a nice meatball. I love the gold aspect. I mean, obviously, taste-wise, you don't taste anything. Yeah. Like in the gold. Yes. But just the flavor inside the meat, or the, the chicken here, so good. Yeah. So good. So much flavor. Mm-hmm. Nice sea kebab. Mm. Oh, this is so good gravy. Yeah. It's good? Mm -hmm. this, but it's not spicy. It was looking really spicy, but it's not. That one? I would, I, yeah. Wow. I like this kind of spice level. Mm -hmm. I cannot handle it more than this. It's more like, you know, you need a lot of water and you get full with the water only. You want to try ghost chili? Um, no, <laughs> gosh, oh gosh. Let, let's do it. Let's you want to try it? Thumbs up. Can we see a ghost chili when people make the biggest or the most expensive? Usually, it's for the that number or that yeah. thing. This one is good. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know if it's the best biryani I ever had. Uh, for me, that's hard to compare mm -hmm. unless I literally have it side by side. Yeah. Because that whole I thing with like it's the best. For me, the best is usually the last one. Yeah, but it's also about the experience, I guess. You know. Oh yeah, yeah. And when you look at this. Oh gosh. Uh, mm hmm. Wow. This is so tasty. I'm gonna try this one. So you just yeah, put this. Yeah, this is really good. Just mix it with rice. This is rice, just like right here. I think you should try it with the with the rice. plain rice. Yeah, the plain one. All right, I'll try it next. Because it has one. a lot of flavor already. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, there's, there's chunks of meat in here. You can see it, right? But uh, you know what I love about the gravy is it makes it a little pasty, right? And it binds everything together. Mmm. It was mm. good. Love the gravy. Not too spicy. Yeah. Yeah, it just looks spicy. That's what I was talking about. Yeah, just you know what it Initially is. Put the chilies on top, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, this and you crumble, like on top. You know, people sometimes don't like the egg. Yeah. I love the egg aspect. I do eat eggs. You do eat eggs, yeah, okay? Yeah. Yeah, because that's more like vegans don't, right? Vegans don't. Yeah, I'm a vegetarian, so it's okay. I mean, you know, when you travel, you cannot really survive being a vegetarian. Oh, you cannot. Vegan, you know, you need to have a lot of options. And, it's uh, so hard. It is it's so really hard. hard. Are you ready for it? <laughs> yeah, Indian food has spices. Szechuan, Chinese, Thai food, most of Southeast Asia. That's super spicy because they use chilies. Exactly. Like and we're this. gonna eat this. I've never tried it in my life. No. Being in it, no. My father loves it. My husband loves it. Oh my I, gosh. I am gonna die. I think. All right, let's try one. Oh let's try gosh. one. You ready? You don't have. You could... Can I get some? Okay, I have some water already. Yeah, I would say take a nibble. Safety. You take a tiny bite. I'll take the whole bite. <laughs> right. Ready. Okay. Wait. <laughs> it's like taking your medicine, you know. <laughs> oh, this is definitely medicine, but it, it okay. helps you, right? Okay. So it has gold on it. That's like a really special thing here. <laughs> okay. Ready? Let's do it. Too hot. That's good. That's good. <laughs> you know when I feel it? When my head starts sweating. Oh my god. Are you okay? And you had a nibble. I had the whole thing. <laughs> oh god. No, 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 this is not okay. Oh my god, so I'm gonna try this chicken with my lie and gold. Mm -hmm. And I'm just happy with my vegan uh, mm -hmm. coconut curry. Mmm. I love all this. So much flavor. And obviously, most of this comes from tandoor, right? So that smokiness, you get that chard, wow. And I'm getting that spice from the chili. <laughs> oh, you feel it, right? Oh, uh, I still have that. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna try the veg part of the biryani, or the, I guess, the white rice, right? <laughs> this side? Yeah. And we're gonna pour this on top, right? Okay. Badami sauce. Badami, badam is the uh, almond. Oh, look at that. Yeah. yeah, I love it. Look at this. It's like a nice paste right there. Look at that. It's supposed to get like this. Oh, it's so thick. I always say we should never leave any rice, but in this case, I might have to leave some rice. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. It's no, going to be great. You have to follow the same rule. Oh my gosh, you're crazy. <laughs> you're not eating for one week then. <laughs> no, no, I'm taking this all home for sure. Look at this bite though. 
wow. with a bite. This is gonna be awesome. I mean, I'm gonna get a smaller piece, so too much. Mm-hmm. Mm. So what are your tips for, you know, in the stomach, by the way? The stomach? What are you gonna tell your viewers? No. If they eat this kind of food every day. If you eat this kind of food every day, you take pepto And how do you look like, uh, you know, how can they look like you then? So fit. I, so I've told people all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah you yeah. did? All right. Yeah, it's basically, it's a mix of intermittent fasting. Mm -hmm. So that means 16 to 18 or 20 hour fast. Wow. Every day. I did the same. Before. You did? Yeah, yeah. It, it's, you know, three years in. Yeah. I'm past the oh, you mental. Did it for three years? Oh, it's three wow. years, yeah. That's I mean, obviously, traveling is different, but when I'm home, it's automatic. Mm -hmm. You know, I have dinner with my kids at seven, I don't eat till 12 or one, and then around four, three or four, have a banana or an apple. Okay. Super light, and everything's super healthy. I don't touch fast food. Okay. Like, I haven't touched fast food or soda. This is not fast food. <laughs> this is not fast food. This is like really good food. Really good food, yes, <laughs> of course, but uh, healthy. Mm. I mean, obviously, cut some of the ghee. Cut yeah. some of the butter. But ghee is healthy, hey. It is, it, it is. is healthy. It's definitely healthier than yeah. butter, like yeah. butter, yeah. Yeah. like That's a block, good. right? I would agree, you know. Yeah. I was doing an intermittent fasting with a window. I started with uh, seven hours of window of eating. Okay. And then rest of the hours, you know, just not eating, just fasting. Mm -hmm. And then I, I uh, started a window of 20 by four. So wow. 20 hours of fasting and four. four hours of eating, like not eating the four hour, oh, whole four hours, no, but, but just you know, one or two frame. meals. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Then when I had, when I was at peak, I, I did like 24 hours window. Okay. So I, I ate one meal a day, healthy meal, nothing crazy, like uh, healthy as in just vegetables and all that. I'm a vegetarian, so. 13 kilos back, can you imagine? Like in one and a half months. 13 kilos? 13. Oh, wow. One three, yeah. And I was like, and you know what? Once you start eating, you don't have the control. Well, you have so, this whole brie honey to finish. <laughs> no, I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> I think this I, is my like two weeks food. <laughs> I know, I know, me too. Look at this, look how massive it is though. I, I think I need to try this one. So we just and put the nihari on. vegetarian, nothing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. You go to Pakistan, <laughs> it's all meat. Yeah, mm. it was nothing. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is so good, like this? Yeah. So actually I'm gonna mix the rice and this chili. So we got the nihari, we have the rice. <laughs> Oh, so it's a different type of rice. This one, this is uh, not basmati. This is kaiser rice, you said, right here. <laughs> Ready? And the chili, the gold flake chili. Mmm. Mm hmm. Okay, so let's do one more thing. What are you gonna do? Can you finish this? No, I can't. <laughs> you want me to finish that? I mean, can maybe. Uh, you know, I don't want to have a bad day. <laughs> I'm a little nervous with that. I rather eat the think? rice. Can you finish this? These. I do not think I can finish that. I do not want to try that. I'll have one. How many can you eat? I can eat another one. <laughs> you know. This guy's crazy, I swear. No. You know, I love spice. I mean, the only thing is, when it comes in spicy, it definitely comes out spicy. <laughs> Just know that. It's part of it. You're gonna have a bad day tomorrow in the yeah. morning. <laughs> <laughs> You can actually have a competition with my father, honestly. Oh, what spice? Oh, <laughs> he I love loves it. it. He loves it. I love the spice. I I don't know the thing mm. that you know, the the rush Ooh. that he gets by eating spicy, the the chilies. You know, it's it's the rush right here in the head. <laughs> oh. It has to come from somewhere. Mmm. <laughs> oh, it's okay. hot. Oh my god. Oh, I know, right? Look at my head. It's like <laughs> I'm boiling. She's being bad to me. What is this? No more chilies. It's like Sorry. forcing the chilies on me. <laughs> I just wanted to see how many mm -hmm. can you really have. This is an amazing Brianna. Actually, we're gonna be here for eight more hours since he has to finish everything. No, <laughs> I'm just gonna have a little more rice. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, right there. Taste of the chilies. I need rice right here. Guys, I am boiling. It's gonna be, you're gonna feel better now. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. The rice <laughs> neutralizes everything. See, this is, this is the Malabar way, right? You throw in the raita. I love the pomegranate aspect here too. Yeah. Gives a nice little burst, a little fruity. What do you think of my skills? Really nice, right? I'm impressed. What other American knows how to do it like this? <laughs> I know. I've never seen one. I know Gordon Ramsay knows how to do it. Yeah. He does. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. <laughs> raita, cool me down. Yeah, they are, actually, uh, I always take rice off with uh, every spicy thing that I eat. I think you have to, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna try your curry here. So coconut curry, right? Yeah. Vegan coconut curry. Mmm. 
It's really good. Mm, it's amazing. I mean, it's like, it feels like the taste of Kerala right here. Like, Kerala. Kerala. <laughs> How do I say it? Kerala. Kerala. Yeah. And you have uh, curry leaves as well in here, right? Like boiling right now. <laughs> it's okay. I'm dying right here. Uh, yeah, no worries. Mmm. Mmm. It's good. All right. I need to take a break. So we came into the kitchen here at Bombay Borough to see how they make some of the tandoori items and also a chat, right? <laughs> We're gonna get a gold plated very no soon. Way, you know, no go way. with the biryani. Uh -huh. We're known for our juicy mouth-watering kebabs. This is where it all happens. And it's gonna be followed by another signature chat that we do. A very modern Indian innovation on that. So, bon appetit. So right here, he's making a sea kebab. As you can see, he's using a huge skewer, a very, very thick skewer. I've never seen this before. So he puts, you know, the minced lamb meat, you know, obviously mixed with some masalas, of course. He makes a big ball, then he puts it on the skewer. From the skewer, he throws it into the tandoor. And look at this tandoor, it's like a marble, almost like a marble tandoor. I've never seen a tandoor this beautiful, incredible. And it's so hot, like literally you get next to it and you lose hair. That's how hot it is. 400 to 500 degrees Fahrenheit. Do not get too close, it will burn. You can see the juices and the fat oozing out. So a lot of a lot of restaurants put additional fat on it. We don't do it because the way we marinate it and the, the spice and the meat blend, that's the secret to this. To keep it juicy throughout. So when it gets to you, it's got all the juices so it's, which soak out of it, which ooze out of it. So that's that's our secret. The seek kebab is actually plated on the naan, right? So it's, it's a Kashmiri style kebab that we do. This is, this is a basically our naan, but on this like it's a bad. And this is the sheik kebab. So on that, it will be layered of butter and a saffron and a little bit of cream on that. This is a doon chutney, vinegar onion on the topping of spring onion. And this is the best selling items in our restaurant. And you will never get this type of kebab in any restaurant. Hey okay, guys, I'm gonna try this incredible kebab right here. Super hot, it looks amazing, super juicy. Oh, I love lamb, so I can't wait for this. So I'm gonna dip in the chutney. Right there. Woo! Oh my gosh. I wish I wasn't so full. Mm. Oh my god, the flavors, the juices. Oh, I love the chutney. Mm -hmm. Is so, it good? Chutney is almost like tzatziki. Cucumber, right? Yeah, this is doon chutney. Doon chutney, yeah. Mm. So nice. Oh, there's nuts in here, right? It's crunchy. Mmm. Oh man, guys, I love the chutney. This this kebab, one of my favorites. Wow, with the naan, it's like a nice little wrap, huh? Best seller for a reason, because it's so well balanced, it's juicy, and everyone loves it. You know, it, it, all nationalities, people of all backgrounds, they come and they love it because it's it's got that right spice mix. I can't stop. <laughs> I love this. Oh, creamy. Mmm, juicy. juicy. It's everything. Yeah. Insane. Awesome, huh? Awesome. Try this kebab. That is a small cheese chili kulcha naan. So that's cheese chili kulcha naan. So cheese, chili, and bread. It's the kulcha. Yeah. So that's like a Punjabi style, right? <laughs> and they put it in a tandoor. Amazing. Very nice. Next time I'll try that. Sure, sure, sure. I think I have one more thing, right? Dessert? Yeah, yeah. Dessert. One, one dessert and one golgappa. I will oh, be sending up to you. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> hey guys, thank you so much. Dune, Dune, Dune. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, chef. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, the whole team. Thank you, thank you. Awesome. All right. So, what do we have there? So, this is your Amritsari kulpa. What is happening here? This is crazy. <laughs> it is amazing. So, Faluda. Rabdi, Rabdi, and then right here we have the kulfi. Uh, and if you guys don't know what kulfi is, that is Indian ice cream. The difference between ice cream and kulfi is this is not whipped, not whipped. Oh wow, look at this, beautiful. What a crazy dessert, amazing. Oh, mmm, mmm, sweet, decadent. And what I love about it is that it's different from like sorbet and ice cream. A little denser, a lot more flavor. Mm-hmm, this place is too good. Bombay Borough. 
Mm -hmm. Last bite, guys. So I thought it was over with the uh, kulfi, but no, we have golgopa. Okay, so this is my favorite thing ever, but it's different. I've never seen it like this. All right, so what are we doing here? Chicken pani puri golgappa. So we have a chicken mince with the uh, puri. And you just go in and take it, right? Yes. Golgappa with chicken. <laughs> Crazy. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Crunchy, juicy. Mmm. So much flavor. Tamarin, mint chutney, pomegranate. What? I've never tried one of these in my life. This is an incredible invention. Galgapa, Bani Puri, Puchka. One last one, and we're going back to Swati. Mm. All right, my friends, we did it. Swati, Verma, and I just had the most expensive biryani in the world here at Bombay Borough in Dubai. What an incredible feast. Obviously, she's a vegetarian, so she didn't try it, but I'll tell you this I, I tried this part. You tried this part, yeah, you tried yeah, this part, yeah. They had some vegetarian options too here. Yeah, right, but obviously they put chicken on top, but if you want, ask them to remove it, right? But amazing lamb, I love the the kebab, right? This So that's a lamb kebab. Over here we have chicken. We have ch chicken meatballs. I mean, everything was so good. You also had this coconut curry. Vegan curry. Oh my oh, god. That was, that was very nice. I loved it. I love Dubai so much. I mean, I would, if I have to compare between Sweden, India, and Dubai, I would say Dubai any day. Dubai any day? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'll tell you, I love it here. Not July. <laughs> not, July, not July, not July. Not summer. I mean, right here is Everyone awesome. Everyone wants want to travel in summer, so yeah. they go out and you know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but people from Europe come here because they want the heat. But exactly. we go out from here during the summertime. But yeah. other than that, uh, Dubai is the best place to live. Yeah. So December, January, February, best months for here in December. It is amazing weather right now. It's cool. It's breezy. It's like that desert feel. Yeah. It's amazing. And do you know what? It was. It touched nine degrees the day before. Nine degrees. Yeah. Wow. In the night, nine That's degrees amazing. is the first time so in Dubai history. So you need an actual sweater for that day. It's awesome. <laughs> well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please follow my friend Swati right here, Instagram. Uh, Swati Verma. And if you love the video, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. See the next travel food adventure in Dubai. I might have to have a little bit more. Maybe that lamb chop. You have it to looks... take whole, and this is your whole week. So I know. Come on. I know, right? Yeah, we're not wasting it. You know what? I'm gonna take it to go. <laughs> let me let me live myself.